Senator, what are your thoughts? This is obviously in the last week has become a, a national race of sorts. I mean, so much focus. I mean, have you felt uh, and intensified because the, the message keeps hearing is that Democrats and you should be worried about Scott Brown being in the race? Well, for me, it's always been a national race. I've been in this to win from since I started the re-election cycle. So I intend to campaign very hard to go all around New Hampshire as I've been doing for the last five and a half years. So I'm sure we will, we will have a robust debate on the issues. And you know, I hope that's a debate that's going to be about the voters of New Hampshire and what is good for the future of New Hampshire and the future of the country. And I think it should be a debate that the voters of New Hampshire are able to um, weigh in on that's not going to be determined by outside interests and outside groups like the Koch brothers coming in. And that's why I'm disappointed that Scott Brown has still been reluctant to embrace the same people's pledge that he issued in his campaign in Massachusetts with Elizabeth Warren. You know, I think what we saw in that race was that that pledge really did work to limit outside money. It really did work to limit negative advertising. It really did work to hold candidates accountable for what they had to say and for the attacks that they made. And I think we have way too much money in our campaign finance system today. And I don't think we need tens of millions of dollars from out-of-state groups coming into New Hampshire. So I would hope that Scott Brown would feel the same way about the voters of New Hampshire that he did about the voters of Massachusetts when he said, you know, this is a pledge that it's going to be good for the voters of Massachusetts. Well, if it's good for them, it ought to be good for the voters of New Hampshire. What's your thoughts at least on this, the dynamic that even Democrats feel that they should be worried about him? I mean, are you worried about his entrance? I'm going to stay focused on my job here in New Hampshire and what we need to do to address the needs of the people of this state. That's what I was elected to do, and that's what I intend to continue to focus on. And, you know, the Republican primary will sort itself out. Where do you think the greatest divides between you and him um, are in terms of the, your delegation in New Hampshire? Well, again, what we saw in his time in Washington is that he was um, an apologist for Wall Street. He took hundreds of thousands of dollars from Wall Street. He was an apologist for the oil and gas industry. He took hundreds of thousands of dollars from them. Um, and, you know, I think we'll have a debate about those issues in this campaign, and we've got lots of time to get to that.